Hey guys and welcome to another first impressions video. Today we're looking at Jean at the Clock Tower, which is a it's like a, a storyboard RPG. I think it's got some battle elements in it, but honestly, it is also a very long-winded title. I have been playing this for about half an hour now, and I still haven't had any gameplay at all. It's just been a story. Which is fine if that's what you're after. But you look at the screenshots of this game, you look at what this game kind of portrays and you think you're going to be in for some fairly decent action fairly early on and it's just not been that. The story is very far-fetched so far as well. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Also, the starting cinematic was a bit odd. There were, there were naked anime ladies in it and I don't quite understand why. Because, again, if you look at the, the screenshots of this game and stuff, it doesn't really indicate that that's what's going on. Like, you've got the anime big boobies, but you don't expect the actual anime nudity. It's, it's not what I signed up for. So, yeah. um, <laughs> I don't really know what to make of it so far. The story so far, for uh, some spoiler and some context, is that it's set in World War II, but you end up in this weird fairyland somehow i think i don't know it's very very far-fetched um and like I say very long-winded the story i feel could have probably been condensed down quite a bit so far the writing is very descriptive but it's needlessly descriptive it's it's sort of like you get the feeling that the person was writing for a novel not a game right when you, you write for a novel, you have to be that that much more descriptive. But for a game, you, you don't need to be because you can let the imagery and the, the graphics and the, the, the slides and stuff speak that for you. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I wanted to like this, but so far I've been quite impressed. I've, I've actually been bored. Um, but we'll have a look at the menu. Um, and then we'll jump into the game and I'll, I'll kind of explain what i mean and hopefully we won't get no naked enemy titties otherwise i'm gonna have to re 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 redo the uh the, the the actual gameplay section of it but yeah let's look at the menu <laughs> so interestingly as well before we do that you've got the manual here which basically just tells you what what each of the memory options do which is a bit weird i've never seen that before i could understand it if it was for controller but but you so far, I've just clicked. So, you've got window to full screen. You've got screen effects on or off. Now, I've actually switched them off and it didn't do anything. Um, also worth noting, if you are epileptic or sensitive to very, very flashy images, this is not going to be a game for you either. They're quite obnoxious with that. You can have instant, slow or normal on message speed. You can skip unread or you can stop unread. So, that's kind of cool. You got BGM volume, sound effects volume, voice volume, and voice interrupt. Um, the volumes are a bit weird. In the 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 music is automatically louder or as loud as the voice. Now you've got your separate volume sliders here, so I'm just going to turn that down a little bit, just because the volume is a bit obnoxious in this game. And it, it can make it quite difficult to listen to. Now, there's not that many voice volume side effects. Like, that, not many voice effects. Like, it's every so often and it's in Japanese. So, it doesn't really matter too much. But it is a bit odd that the volumes are set all the way up for everybody. Even at max volume, like, there's no offset there. There's no, yes, this is the max volume for the, the voice. But the, the volume for the music should be set a little bit lower. So that's worth bearing in mind as well. The menu and the the screen effects and stuff could probably do with a bit more beefing out and a bit more control. But let's jump into the game and see what Jean at the Clock Tower is all about. So this is the game so far. Um, you You've got a storyboard which you can save and load at any given time. It's done in chapters and so far you are playing two Air Force people from the French Resistance during World War II. You, your plane's been shot down. You 
found yourself against this person thing that slit your throat but apparently it didn't do anything because you're still alive also i'm noticing that the graphics don't look like they've been finalized properly like over here you can actually see a, there's a border around the face and here too which is odd to say the least right um so yeah it's it's this this here is what i mean right He's pulled out his pocket watch, but it's explaining great deal, a great amount of detail about the watch. No need for it. It's fluff piece. It makes it go on and I get bored, right? I'm playing a video game. You just got to tell me that you pulled out a watch. You don't need to go into great detail about what's on that watch. Like, if you want to show me what the watch is, have a little animation pull out the watch, right? Because it just makes it go on so, so long. Um... So at the minute, I'm not sure if it's a game or if it's more of a visual graphic novel. Um, I've had no choices to make. I've had no combat. I've had nothing. It's just been set in the scene, if you like. Which, again, if you're after a graphic novel or if you're after a visual novel, great. But the screenshots that I saw of this didn't really pertain to that like it looked like an rpg more than this is the story we're going to tell you it now so that is worth bearing in mind depending on what it is you want personally i like a more interactive experience i like it when a game gives me options and choices to make this hasn't really done that so far and as a result i'm a bit disappointed and like i said i'm a bit bored the writing is very very slow paced very very slow paced and this this weird bar around their faces is just as crazy there, there are sort of differences to the art like in each screen like they they change their facial expressions ever so slightly but yeah so i don't know unimpressed so far guys um i kind of want to keep playing and seeing if there is combat but i've got a horrible feeling that if there is it's going to be a long time coming and i do not have the time or the patience for that i don't know i'm unimpressed it's a very cute looking game i'm also really curious as to why the opening credits had naked ladies in i don't understand there were swords and boobies and things which also kind of put me off the game a little bit like if it's a dating sim it doesn't strike me as a dating sim it's, it, it's almost like it's a game that knows what it wants to be but doesn't know what it wants to be you know, that's kind of the feeling I'm getting from this. But yeah, like like this, this here, again. You don't need to add this in. <laughs> it's fluff. <laughs> don't need it. Ah oh, dear. Right guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna switch this off now because I want to do something that's fun. And this isn't. Let me know in the comments down below if this is the sort of game for you, if you like a bit of the visual novel, if you like the anime waifu vibe, if you like the art style, if you like the writing style, if the writing style is not too fluffed out for you, let me know in those comments down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video as well and subscribe if you have not already and I shall see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching guys. Ciao, ciao.